Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can fix green screen footage that isn't keying out properly in both Premiere and After Effects. So Premiere has the ultra key effect, which works pretty well, and After Effects has the key light effect, which is much more powerful. So I'll show you how to do both. Let's dive in. Let's start in After Effects. So you've brought your clips into the project and you have them in your sequence here. And I have this footage of the video I posted last and I used a green screen behind me as well as some green tape to remove part of my microphone. But of course I didn't light the green screen in the back properly. So the green has a lot of variance, which makes it hard to key out as well as this tape is a totally different color than this green background. Next, we need to add a solid layer behind our clip so that we can make the green part transparent when we have something behind it to show. Right click, new, solid. I added a gradient ramp so it looks like the light will be kind of shining near my head. And then we just need to move this below our original clip. Let's add the effect to remove the green screen. So come up back here into effects and presets. Just type in key. There are a bunch of different options. I always like to go with the key light effect right here. Go ahead and drag that onto your clip directly or just in the preview window and we'll see it's added over here. Then use the screen color eyedropper to select the green that you want to remove. Generally, you should pick a color closer to the subject, but you can try choosing a different green throughout the screen and see what happens. If you want to adjust the green, you just come over in here. You can move this little circle anywhere you want. Now under view, there's a bunch of different options. If you try status, the white is the subject and the black is transparent and anything gray is in the middle. So the key is to get rid of everything gray. So you'll see if we come back in here, adjust our green a bit more, we get more or less black, depending on the color that we choose. And then we can go back to this drop down, select final result to see the final result. And it actually did a pretty good job. Generally, I go back and forth between both of those two options while testing out the different green color. Now, let's say I didn't choose that specific green color. Let's choose just a different one, kind of close to my head. And here we'll see that we still have this tape and some of the further up parts of the green screen that weren't selected. So if that happens to you, if you still have some spots that aren't totally transparent, what we can do to adjust is come over here to these two sliders, screen gain and screen balance, and this will help make the background more even. So just go ahead and adjust these to whatever you want. You'll see as I increase the screen gain, we get rid of some of the tape there and screen balance can help it even more. And there we go, both the tape and green screen have been removed, minus this little part here that I just didn't tape up properly. Looks pretty good. Now let's try the same clip, but in Premiere. Again, we need an effect to key out the green parts. Type in ultra and bring the ultra key effect onto your clip. We've got our effect controls on the left panel here. And again, we need to select the key color with this eyedropper. It did really well for the green screen part, but not so much for the green tape. We can try the aggressive setting in this dropdown, which does help a little bit, not entirely. We can also try some of these settings below. While in matte generation, come up here to output and change it to alpha. This is similar to a mask in Photoshop. Transparency will affect the amount of black in our mask. If we go back to composite, you'll see we kind of look like a ghost, which isn't something we want. So let's reset this. If we bring the highlight down, it does help with some of those tape colors. Shadow, I don't think helps too much in this instance. Tolerance is the edges and doesn't do too much here either. Pedestal helps with hair and you'll see it actually gets rid of the tape highlights pretty well. Matte cleanup is just the edges, so I don't mess with these too much. Choke will trim up the edge, soften softens the lines, contrast sharpens the edge. Then spill suppression is for sometimes when there's green reflected on the clothing and it can get rid of that. I don't really see any of that here. Color correction, I don't recommend using here. Instead, use Lumetri Color in the top panel. And you can reset any of these parameters by clicking the circle arrow on the right. And you can also hit the FX button to show or hide the effects you just added. This is looking pretty close. Another way you can try is by adjusting the green tones in the Lumetri color panel up here. This will refine the green screen and make it flat and all the same green tone. Let's duplicate this clip and hide the old one so we can compare the two options. So I'm just hiding down option and dragging at the same time. And then on this one, we can delete ultra key. So we have something fresh to start with and I'll hide the previous one. Make sure this top clip is selected. Once you're in Lumetri, go to HSL secondary, go to the green option, and then just make sure these are expanded a ton. 
You can turn this checkbox on to see where you're expanding. I might bring this in just a tad so we can remove some of that microphone part. Then down here, bring down tint, contrast, sharpen, and saturation all the way up. Next, select the three colors. Now we have control of shadows, midtones, and highlights. Bring all three of those colors over to green. Then adjust the sliders up and down till it looks a little more flat. Once that's done, we can bring Ultra Key back in. And just adjust this from here a little bit more. But even if I adjust a bunch of these settings and even go back into color and try adjusting over here, it still doesn't get quite all of the background while still keeping some of these blacks. So I wouldn't use Lumetri Color in this instance. So let's look at our two versions. We had the Lumetri Color option, which is this. We also had the version where we just used Ultra Key. Let's say neither of these options work perfectly. What we could do is remove the current effects, right click, go to Replace with After Effects Composition, and this will let us edit this clip the same way we did in After Effects at the beginning, but keep it editable in Premiere. This did a pretty good job, so we can save it, come back to Premiere, and then automatically this clip is updated with whatever we saved in After Effects. And we'll see instead of the same blue color, it changed to pink, and it has .aep. That means this is replaced in After Effects. So that's how you can remove the green screen in both Premiere and After Effects. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!